So guys, let's get into this video. It looks like there is an update to the Ime Yudoka affair situation. And I want to start off by saying Ime ain't shit tay. And that's on period. So sources are claiming that the husband of the chick that Ime was sleeping with is the one that caught wind of the affair via a ring doorbell camera. The camera recorded this whole conversation of the wife and Ime. Now, my thing is that recording would only pick up the wife's portion of it. But let's move on. Reports are also saying that this lady that he had the affair with was actually his travel planner. And this trick even made the arrangements for Nia when it was time for her to come visit or travel to his different games. And she even helped Nia in moving to Boston. She made all of the arrangements for that. Now that's some scandalous shit. This man got his side chick assisting and helping his fiance. Unreal. But here's my issue. Why are they not putting this woman on blast? Why are the Celtics not sharing her information? Why did they leak information saying allegedly this was so bad that it was probably not even a consensual relationship? Why are former players and sports agents saying that this is way worse than just an affair. Because from what we see so far, other than just gossip fodder, it looks like it may have been a consensual relationship. So they need to put everything out there about this woman. They need to put the name of the skank out there. Because if it was consensual and her husband and allegedly he may be some sort of VP. But if it was consensual and her husband found out, we just have two couples where two people cheated. And I think that if that really is the case, then number one, that year long suspension is not fair. And number two, the public ridicule of e -May is not fair. Now, like I mentioned, he ain't shit the way he did Nia, and that's what gets me with men especially, and women, I guess we can say, if you're not happy in a relationship, just leave. Just leave and things. Because had he done that, it wouldn't look as bad as it's looking right now. But I ask again, why are they protecting this lady? And I still believe, unfortunately, these are just my thoughts, that Nia may have known something regarding him cheating. And I'm not saying this case in particular, but again, he's an athlete. He's traveling here and there. And women just know they're men. We just know our men. So those are my own personal uh, thoughts. I'm not saying that it's fact. I just feel that way because they've been in a relationship for so long. It's not like this is just one incident, in my opinion, that happened where it concerns cheating. But whether she knew or not, that's really not important because what we do know is this public scandal is not due to Nia. She wasn't caught cheating. So this is a whole mess. You guys drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about this. If this was consensual, should they or should they not release all the information about the skank that Ime was cheating with? Or do you think that since she had a less visible position in the organization that she should be protected? Also, what happened to the information that supposedly it was more than one woman that he was cheating with that worked with the Boston Celtics organization? Like I said, it's a mess. Drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. And please make sure to like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe.
chat with you guys soon. Bye.